Balls in here and can wrap it up and it's done exactly that. 3 0. This is an absolutely massive moment, you sense, in this relegation scrap. For Norwich, the struggles go on. And that is probably a significant blow to Alex Neal's hope. Alex Neal and his Norwich side have been relegated. Yeah, I think I don't think it would be any surprise to anybody that it was. Um, I took it really personally. You know, it was a huge disappointment for me, um, and I think also for the team as well. You know, and I think if you don't take it personally, um, what's the point? You know, because this is this is my livelihood. This is what I want to do, and I find it really tough and, and difficult to handle the fact that we didn't quite do enough to stay in the Premier League. I have to say, right after Watford, when we won 4-2, but we knew we were going to the championship, I switch, switch off already. Um, I just wanted to go to go to Portugal, relax and come back with, with power to, to face this league and to go again to Premier League. I think it's the most important thing. If we are still looking back for what we'll, we'll be, we have to work now each game every day to, to face the, the, the destiny. And I think our destiny is to go again to, to Premier League. When you've come off the season a disappointment, then you quickly got to change that mindset. Um, and focus on the job at hand, you know, because getting out of the championships is considerably different from staying in the Premier League, um, and we need to change that mentality. And I think, I think we've we've went some way towards doing that. I think we have a great squad. Squad, the the lads are fantastic. They were fantastic with, with, with me. Each new, new player that comes here, we are, we are fantastic with with them as well. So I think we have everything we need to to go to Premier League again. I just remember House rolling into me, um, you know, feeling the contact, turning away from him, and then, yeah, just, you know, hitting it. Do you remember it quite clearly? Yeah, because yeah. I've watched it about 25,000 times. <laughs> I, I felt like I was just going to run out of the stadium, I was that excited, so... Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a great feeling, um, you know, to score, score my first league goal for, for Norwich, so, you know, hopefully there's a lot more to come. game is just just different than the other games you know we never know what, what we can expect uh, expect about about the first game and the way we face Blackburn the way we in the first in the first half we, we just say we kill them we play very good and I think it was important to start to start the, the season with with a result like that 4-1 it was amazing because we really did put Blackburn in the sword and could have scored more and I think with how well they played there's, there's confidence and then there's overconfidence and I think we probably left that game with a wee bit of overconfidence. In a strange way, that first game probably gave us a bit of a false sense of where we deemed we were at the start of the season and I think from that point uh, onwards we thought we were just going to have to turn up um, and I think some of the performances after that suggested that but I think we've quickly turned it back round and, and got back on track again. I still think we're short of forward, you know, that's something I've said throughout the whole transfer window. The business that we've done, probably the best part of our business was retaining the majority of the squad. You know, we lost Nathan, um, Gary and Neil and a couple of our lads that were on loan, but in the main, most of the squad that we'd have liked to keep together um, certainly stayed together, which is a good thing. I think it's went crazy over the last two years, you know, I think looking at when Lewis Graben and, and Cameron Jerome came into the club, you know, Cameron cost 1.5 million, Lewis cost 3 million, and he's just off the back of your season scoring 20 goals in the championship. To pay for that now, you're talking 10 million plus. So I think that just shows the shift in significance in terms of the monetary terms that the championship teams in particular are prepared to pay. Um, and there really has been a lot of big spenders this year in the championship. You know, there's a vast amount of money went in that probably before would have been unheard of. And it's not really the side that you get involved in terms of coaching your players and coaching your team for. I mean, you get involved because you want to get your team working as a unit and 
and different things like that. But it's part and parcel of the game now. It's something that um, is a learning progress for me. You know, I think I've, I'm, I'm at a good stage now where I know exactly how it works and what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I think particularly when you're trying to retain players that are good players, um, and you maybe haven't got vast amounts to go and spend, then the transfer window can, can be something that you're, you're pretty wanting. They want it to shut pretty quickly at times. We had a fantastic squad. Um, you have to, to deserve the shirt you are playing, you know. If you are in the, in the first 11, we, you, you must keep pushing forward to, to, to stay with the shirt and we, in, in the first 11. Because if not, you have a, a second choice, now the second choice. That's if they have the, 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 the chance, they can take you out of the team as well because we have a, go, a good, a good quality players as well. So you must work hard every day. Yeah, that's, you know, it's healthy, uh, healthy competition, which is, which, which is what we need as, as young boys. Um, but they're winding each other up and like, being um, playful and uh, like in and around the dressing room out on the uh, training pitch as well. So it's good to have boys in and around your age who have the same hunger for the game that you do and yeah, you all push each other along the way. You already see the first steps with Jacob. You know, Sergio Canos has had a bit of game time. Um, Josh Murphy has also played a part in things so far. Um, and then we've got Louis Thompson, Carlton Morris. I hoped I would get something from one of four or five of them, to be honest. I didn't expect all of them to be firing on all cylinders. But it was really a case of, it was up to them. I mean, who, who was going to step up to the plate and show me um, and the rest of the coaching staff that they're ready to have an immediate impact. And Jacob, to be fair to him, is the one that's really sort of, he's the one that's really stepped up. That's a Bogdan. Oh, Bogdan's dwelt on it. And what a chance for Jacob Murphy. Oh, that was just so easy.